What's good guys, welcome to Android Modifications. Certain settings or applications you can tweak or install that will drastically change the way your phone operates. And kicking the list off, we've got Torchy, which is probably pretty self-explanatory, but it allows you to operate your torch using hardware keys. And to say this is simple to use is probably an understatement. You download it, open the application and hit one button, and it is activated. And in order to start and stop the torch, all you've got to do is tap the volume up and the volume down key at the same time, which takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, it's a much faster way of doing it. All right, Google's recent Pixel 2 flagship phones were incredibly well received in terms of their camera, but less because of the hardware, more because of the software and the color processing. It might come as a surprise to a lot of you, and it definitely was to me, that this can be achieved on quite a lot of Android flagships. So there is an application you can download, which is a modded APK file, and this launches Google's own camera app, complete with front and rear facing portrait mode. Pretty much every modern smartphone is now coming with a fingerprint scanner, but to take full advantage of this, you might have heard of fingerprint gestures. This is a simple application that doesn't require root, which allows you to assign outcomes based on inputs. And because the fingerprint scanner on a phone is designed to be something that your finger naturally rests above, it can be quite an intuitive way to navigate your smartphone. You could make it so that a double tap goes back, or a single tap or a hold will take you straight home. And following this, we've got one of my all-time favorite Android modifications, that is Swipe Back, which once configured allows you within any application to swipe from one of the edges in order to exit that application. You can create exceptions if certain applications use these commands for other purposes and you don't want them to interfere. And also, you can change the edge you swipe from. You can do it from the left, the right, even the bottom. What is worth bearing in mind here is that some of the mods I'm showing you in this video, some of the more advanced, impressive, some of the more complex mods do require root access. And you need to remember that in a lot of cases, rooting your phone will void your warranty. But at the same time, it makes for quite an enticing argument. It's not only relatively easy to do and quite difficult to mess up your phone by doing it, but also through this video, you'll see that what it enables you to do is really freeing. There is an emerging trend of these modifications basically spelling out exactly what they do. And navbar animations is no different. It creates animations every time you press your navbar. And there are a really exciting amount of options, even in the free version of the app. The pro version, which isn't particularly expensive, unlocks some of the even more complex, even more dazzling animations. But to be honest, most people will get by fine with the free one. One application slash modification that I was really surprised by is Fuview. And once installed and activated, it creates a permanent little bubble on the left hand side of your page which you can swipe across to go back at any time. You can hold down to open up any of your recent applications or your clipboard or various other tools. And you can even write with another finger and it'll narrow down the set of applications it's showing you based on the letters you've entered. Gravity Box is gonna seem like one of the less interesting modifications on this list, a set of menus effectively, but this gives you an unprecedented amount of control over the visual appearance of your smartphone. To the point where this is pretty much the only application you could need for all of that. You can configure everything from the color of the status bar, the notification bar. You can add or remove modules. You can even configure it so that swiping along your status bar can adjust your screen brightness. Installing and activating an application called Pin Notification allows you to prevent you swiping away notifications that you think are important. When you open the app, it'll show you a list of all your current notifications and you just hold down on the ones that you want to be pinned. And from the many options available, this is one of the best ways of not forgetting stuff that you normally forget yet, because you'd be surprised how many times a day the average person checks their notification bar. For the audio aficionados among you, Viper for Android is basically a complete audio solution. It has just about every setting under the sky and is completely seamless, i.e. once you've downloaded, installed it, and set the settings you want to, they will apply to everything you listen to across your smartphone, whether it's your ringtone, a YouTube video, or Spotify. It can even make your sound deeper or richer or louder. Take a listen to the difference here. One modification that I think is an absolute must try if you've already gone ahead and rooted your phone is to change the boot animation. And it's actually not very difficult to do. You use a root explorer to navigate to system and media to find your original boot animation. 
you rename the file so it's no longer active, and then head over into your downloads folder to find the new boot animation you want to replace it with. And you just drag and drop that into this existing folder and change the permissions so they read as follows. And that's it. From then on, the next time you reboot your phone, it'll look completely different. You could go all out crazy and get an Alienware or a Watch Dogs theme here. Or alternatively, you could go for something really simple, like the plain Android logo. Totally up to you. It's just nice to have the option. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, I've got another really cool one on how to customise your Android device, so go check that out, I'll leave it as a card above. With that being said, my name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.